Hi. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome again to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show uh, how we can import a CSV in Azure DevOps. I mean, there could be needs where uh, there is an Excel file or CSV file where we have some work items defined and we want to import those work items in our backlog in Azure DevOps. So I already shared a video on how to take an export of a sprint backlog. I will share a link in the description of this particular video. So in today's video, I am going to share how we can import work items from a CSV file. So I'm sharing uh, the sample project that I have used for Azure DevOps series. So this is Scrum project 2023. 20, uh, 23. So I mean, in Azure DevOps, we can click on the overview. We can get the project details, uh, listing about the team members, other information. Now, in order to import a CSV, so what we have to do is uh, first we have to bring the mouse to the boards and uh, click on queries. So here, uh, this is our queries view where we can see some of the queries defined which are marked as favorites. We can click on all for all the queries which has been defined. Now, if we go back to the favorites view here, we see the import work items. So we have to click on this one. Okay, so we will get this particular view like we have to select the CSV file. We have to browse it. So now uh, let's just cancel it uh, and see how our csv file looks like so i'm just opening the csv file so this is a csv file uh, where we have these fields uh, work item type we have a title we have priority description acceptance criteria area path iteration path and effort which is nothing but the story points so these are the work item types so basically these two are stories so we have product backlog item uh, which is defined as the type and these are the title so this is the title for the very first user story user login test one and uh, this is the priority of that user story this is the description which is the story definition and this is the acceptance criteria and similarly we have defined the area path as well as the iteration path and the effort field is basically it designates the story points similarly we have defined the second user story which we want to import from this csv file into our azure so again this second story is also of type product backlog item we have title forgot password we have defined the priority we have also defined the description acceptance criteria area path iteration path and the effort in the story points one of the things to remember is i mean if we make any mistakes in the title i mean in this very first uh, line which define like what field we want to import like let's say the spelling of priority is not correct or the description field uh, is wrongly named so it will give an error when we try to import and uh, also if the work item type like i mean for some azure conf uh, configurations like uh, work item type could be the user story so all we have to do is we have to see that uh, if we come to the work items and if we see like how, what kind of work items are defined so for based on the project configuration for some of the projects uh, it could be the user story like if it is the agile project or if it is a scrum project right if it is a scrum project it will be user story so here we have to be very careful like you know when we are importing uh, from the csv file that you know the very first line which defines the field names like what fields we want to import and also these types should be correct right i mean if there is any error in the field names it will give us uh, give us an error during the uh, import so i have saved this file as the csv file uh, so you guys can see this is the name of the file import work items dot csv and i have already showed shown you uh, this is the csv file so basically what we want to do from this csv file is we want to import two set uh, user stories uh, you know the work item type is the product backlog item now this is what we have to do we have to go to the queries we have to click on import work items and select our csv file so i am selecting the same file import work items dot csv okay so if i click on import so this is how it will do it has imported the two work items from the csv file based on the fields and the other details we have provided so we you know we gave 
the work item type we also provide a title priority description the acceptance criteria area path iteration path and the effort in the story points now after the import what we have to do is we have to click on the save items okay so it will save basically it will provide the ids and uh, we can see like where it has been listed uh, in our backlog so what we have to do is if i click on the work items in a separate tab so here uh, you know we can sort this item based on the activity date so if i simply refresh and uh, so currently if i just sort it on the activity date like it is showing with a set of two work items which have been added on this particular date and you guys can see like you know these were the ids of these work items like azure gave it like id 34 and the 35 34 for the user login so if i see here this is my 34 user login and this is like 35 and if i click on the user login you guys can see that uh, it has added the description it has added the acceptance criteria it has added priority the effort it also added the area and the iteration path and this is our title right and uh, if i see the second work item that we have added so this is the description and uh, this is our uh, acceptance criteria and this is the title area path iteration path and priority end. so this is how we can uh, basically import a csv file into our backlog and like i said you know the key is uh, the this very first field like uh, what kind of fields we want to import the field names should be correct and uh, one trick here is if we are not sure about what our field names are what we can do is we can take an export of the backlog i mean simply uh, either we can you know we uh, if we if we if we take this these are the correct field names right so i mean we can also look at the different column options here like i mean this provides the correct listing of the field names or like I said, you know, if we are not sure about, you know, what our field names are, we can take an export and then we can see that, you know, what exactly is the right column name or right field name. So these are the simple tricks. And uh, yes, I mean, uh, when if there is any error in the field names or if there is any syntax which is not correct during the import, it will give us an error. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please share and subscribe. And uh, that will motivate me to share further videos here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone.